With the end of World War II, the Allies and the Soviet bloc found themselves locked in a state of antagonism. As they poured over the remains of Nazi war machine, they discovered incredible advances in rocketry and aerospace engineering and began scrambling to procure all they could. For many, this state would continue as both sides struggled to make advancements in the field of space exploration ahead of the other. This was what is popularly known as the Space Age, an era that was born of the advent of nuclear power, advances in rocketry and the desire to be the first to put men into space and on the moon. This era would come to be defined by rapid advances in technology and a number of historic firsts being accomplished before winding down and giving way to an era of cooperation. The Space Age is thought to have officially begun on October 4, 1957 with the launch of Sputnik 1 by the Soviet Union, the first artificial satellite to be launched into orbit. News of the launch triggered a great deal of fear in the United States as many worried that Sputnik could represent a threat to national security. As a result, Congress urged then-President D. Eisenhower to take immediate action which resulted in the signing of National Aeronautics and Space Act on July 29, 1958, officially establishing NASA. Immediately, NASA became dedicated to researching hypersonic flight and taking the necessary steps towards creating manned spacecraft. Sputnik chief designer Sergei Korolev as a modified Russian missile launched into space from Kazakhstan carrying a very special payload. Sputnik 1 means traveling companion in Russian, was about the size of a basketball and weighed about 180 pounds. It was equipped with two radio transmitters and four long antennas that broadcasted a constant beep while circling the Earth for 21 days. Sputnik's launch stunned the world. Sputnik touched all walks of life. For politicians, its launch provided a new and powerful way to stir up patriotism. Winning the space race was not only a matter of national security, but of national pride. For engineers, the space age represented a new set of daunting technological hurdles to overcome. The engineers were the group tasked with the inventing machines capable of escaping Earth's gravity and reaching the moon, as well as ways to keep humans alive in space and to communicate with them from the ground. For people of a military mindset, Sputnik represented an awesome and frightening new way of waging war. The same technology needed to loft a satellite into space could also be adapted to hurl a nuclear warhead at your enemies from half a world away. But all of these things would come later. Arguably, the first people to fully grasp Sputnik's significance and to exploit its technology were scientists for whom the beeping metal ball represented a radical new way of studying our planet and the universe. Scientists made their first major discovery of the space age a mere three months after Sputnik's launch. Sputnik's launch forced Americans to rethink the notion that they were the world's most technological advanced nation. Sputnik made everybody think about science and technology more seriously. The US government's push for scientific education was made easier in many ways by Sputnik. The satellite was a technological marvel that inspired an entire generation of students and not just aspiring engineers. Some astronomers traced their interest in space to the Sputnik era. When did the theory that the dinosaurs had a sudden mass extinction as a result of an asteroid emerge. Had we not flown in space, we would never have even considered that as a possibility. 
What began in the post-war years as a struggle between two superpowers has since evolved into a cooperative venture designed to advance humanity's understanding of space. Today, multiple federal space agencies work closely with each other and the private sector in the pursuit of these goals. Nevertheless, none of this would be possible were it not for the period that began with the launch of Sputnik in 1957 and peaked with the moon landing in 1969. The competition, high levels of investment and fears that characterized this period ultimately led to scientific breakthroughs and the development of technologies that would have a drastic impact on many areas of life, the global economy and ensure humanity's future in space. Today, over a thousand artificial satellites orbit Earth, relying communication data around the planet and facilitating remote sensing data that helps us to monitor weather, vegetation and the movements of human beings around the globe. In addition, the invention of microchips and modern computing which in turn drives so much of everyday activities owe their existence largely to research initially driven by the desire to explore space. And in the coming years, who knows what advances in space exploration will yield. Perhaps climatological research on planets like Mars and Venus will help us to develop geoengineering techniques to fight climate change here on Earth. The creation of orbital facilities and aerospace planes could also lead to a fully fledged space tourism industry and prospecting on the moon, Mars and on asteroids could expand our economy greatly and teach us much about the history of the solar system. But above all, ongoing space exploration, the hallmark of space age, is likely to transform humanity from a terrestrial race into an interplanetary or even interstellar one.